I'm in Dharamshala, India, home of the Tibetan government in exile and the new Built on Respect Sama Source Partnership. Sama means equal in Sanskrit, and Sama Source's mission is to level the playing field for work worldwide, which is why I'm getting it tattooed on my wrist. <laughs> Tell me a little bit about yourself and Sama Source. Um, well, I founded Sama Source in 2008 in September after working in the development sector for about 10 years, just getting really frustrated that not enough organizations were providing jobs for the people that really need them. Okay. And where are you headquartered? Because you kind of seem to live out of a suitcase. I do live out of a suitcase. <laughs> um, I'm headquartered in San Francisco, but I spent a lot of my time on the road working with our partner organizations in nine different countries in Africa, uh, Asia. I was going to say, where are they? Africa, yeah. Asia? And South America. Okay. And who do you target? How, what exactly is your work model? You say that there's a need for work. How do you give work? We find partner organizations that are reliable. Um, they can be incorporated as nonprofit organizations or businesses. And those organizations manage, train, uh, and pay workers. And our workers are all women, youth, and refugees uh, who come from very uh, economically and socially disadvantaged backgrounds. Okay, so some of the sources function is then to to find work. So um, so we focus on what we can do best from San Francisco, which is to connect these partner organizations to customers that need to get work done. So we have a sales office uh, or a sales function and an account management function, and we do a lot of marketing to kind of build the awareness of this concept of socially responsible digital work. Okay, so let me see your wrist. <laughs> How are you doing with that? <laughs> <laughs> I just got it two days ago, so I think my wrist is still healing. <laughs> what does this mean? Tell me about Sure. Um, so this is a Sanskrit for Sama, and Sama means equal or same. And when I founded Sama Source, I, um, I'd really come from a, a whole life background of being interested in social justice, and I never really connected that before to equality. And I realized that what bothers me most about the world is that some people have every opportunity, people like you and me who were born in the U.S. Um, and just happen to be born into wealth, and other people have absolutely nothing. And it has nothing to do with how capable they are, or how much they want to work, or how much effort they put into things, and it has everything to do with chance and luck. And I really feel like um, like my mission in life and Sama Source's mission is to create a level playing field where everyone who has the skill and the will to work can do so. What do you think the most important thing if people could do one thing personally themselves every day to make the world a better place? What do you think that is? Well, I think for those of us who've been born into a relative privilege, it's finding ways to do something to give back. Um, as much as we like to think that we earned everything that we have, we are victims of, of chance and fate. Um, and so many people in the world, four billion people, live on less than three dollars a day, which is what I spend on a Starbucks you know, coffee in the morning. So I think it's just kind of being aware of that and making life choices that, that reflect that reality. If you had an angel that came down to help support Sama Source, what is the most important thing that you need to make your organization grow and succeed? I need big companies, uh, The Gap and Safeway and Levi's uh, of the world to decide that they want to look at ethical sourcing, not just in terms of how they source their physical products, but in how they source their services and their digital work. And I would love to win business from these companies. And I think that would be a real sign of approval of our model, that you know we are a functioning business, we provide good quality services, and even these big corporations are interested in hiring us. And that's, that's the, the biggest thing they could do for the women, youth, and refugees. Now, you're, just to recap, your board of directors, you've got the founder of Kiva.org, you've got a Ford Foundation, I believe. Mm -hmm. You've received Rockefeller Foundation grants for your work, so. Last question, how old are you? I'm 27. Good. <laughs> Thank you. Thanks, Heidi.